My name is uh, Wendy Njoroge Marube. I am the co-founder of uh, Somanami Books. So Somanami Books is a book hub for book lovers. So we, we have a book club, we have a bookstore, which uh, is designed as a social sp uh, space, which is the place we're in right now. Um, the intention is for the reader to come in and feel at home, find a range of products, a range of books, a range of bookish items, and just have a good time. Come and commune with other readers. Whether you're in a book club, you can come and sit here, or uh, if you're just by yourself, you're also welcome to do that. We also do a subscription box, uh, which is a really interesting way of gifting uh, book lovers. So if you have a book lover in your life, we do have a subscription box, which we call a book box, which is a box with a book uh, and some other goodie items uh, really packaged nicely and thoughtfully for the book lover in your life. I was born and raised in Kiambu County, and that is where I have spent uh, the bulk of my life. Uh, then I went to school in Nairobi. <laughs> I came to school in Nairobi. And um, I went to high school in St. Martin's Girls, then proceeded to university at Strathmore University. And uh, that is where I think I came into myself career-wise when I did my BCom and fell in love with marketing. So I think initially I thought I was going to be an accountant, but then when I um, encountered marketing, I knew this was what I really wanted to do. And so from there, I have been a career marketer, um, uh, mostly in advertising. That was always something that really excited me. And then from there, I again transitioned into, into marketing in a retail uh, business, which is a chain of bookstores. And there are now there, I think my love of books really came alive. Um, so at Strathmore University, I did a, my BCom there and uh, majored in account uh, in marketing. Um, when I was starting, when I joined in first year, I thought I'd probably pursue uh, finance or accounting. But then when I did marketing, um, I just fell in love with it and I knew that is what I really wanted to do. So I've been a career marketer uh, ever since and I even went on to do my master's in in marketing, an MSc in marketing at the University of Nairobi in 2017. And then, uh, so marketing for me has been what I've done for the bulk of my career. So my first job was selling advertising space um, for billboards. So that was a really interesting way of um, launching into, the, into, into my career because then I got to see the tail end of, um, of, uh, of advertising. Uh, so from there, I got curious to know, like, how do these ads end up in billboards? And so I went into advertising companies. I worked for Uncle V and some other um, advertising agencies. Uh, but then at some point, I had to transition out of advertising. And, and that's where I went into a marketing department of a retail chain of bookstores. Um, from, I think at that point, now I re rekindled my love for books. Um, so being surrounded by books every day, I realized how much um, happy that that made me. I've always been a reader, so um, now having to work with books was a coming full circle for me. Um, my passion in life is um, uh, reading. I think um, that goes without saying. <laughs> I've always been a reader from the time I can remember. From the time I can remember when I was young, uh, probably I read my first full book in, my, in memory, like when I was in say class two or class three. Uh, of course, those were story books. And so I can trace my life events around books. So that books have always um, made me, anchored me and uh, made me meet a lot of interesting people. Yeah, for instance, uh, like I met my husband uh, through books because we took uh, the same class for uh, in, in Strathmore University, which was an elective course uh, called Great Books. So our shared interest <laughs> really did uh, bring us together. So Manami Books, we have a very interesting um, genesis story, uh, which I think it's a happy, happy accident. 
So first of all, I met uh, my co-founder Mudoni at a book club a couple of years ago. Um, so this is a book club that I used to administer and uh, was corporate sponsored. So we, she came in as a book club member and right away her passion for books, for reading uh, and for talking about the books that she read was very clear. So of course we, uh, and, that, and that was that. Then uh, a few years down the line when I left the position that I was in <coughs> as the admin of the book club, I was looking for a new home, uh, a new book club home. <laughs> So at the time, Modoni had already also left that book club and she was in, um, she had started a book club called Bookish People with a couple of her friends. So I reached out, I remembered her and I reached out and I said, I'm looking for a book club and I see you guys are doing interesting things, can I join in? And so that's how I joined Bookish People um, at around 2018. And so we were in Bookish People, read very interesting books, had a lot of fun. And then um, COVID happened in 2020. So our book club went um, online. So <clears throat> uh, in the course of us being in bookish people, one of the challenges that we used to meet uh, to come across was not being able to find the books that we wanted to read because we had challenged ourselves that we were only going to read uh, from the African continent. And this is, was very intentional for us. Uh, because we believed that the stories that um, are written by Africans resonate with us the most. Of course, we see ourselves there more and they're the stories we really, really enjoyed. But um, the, uh, the challenging thing now was getting those books, um, like getting a book written by somebody in Angola, in Kenya, proved to be such a challenge. Or what, pick any other country, right? So uh, that is happening in the background. So uh, come COVID, uh, we're meeting online. Uh, so at the beginning of 20, um, at the end of last year, which is the end of 2020, uh, Mudoni and I just started having that conversation of, you know, uh, th this, this access problem, like what can we do about it? Yeah, so we said, okay, fine, let's, let's try and do a bookstore, right? And none of us, neither of us really thought that um, uh, maybe uh, that it was going to end up where it is right now. So we started very small, which was an online shop. Uh, Mudoni uh, has been blogging for a really long time on under somanami.co.ke. So it was her way of uh, chronicling her thoughts, uh, writing about the books that she's read, and just giving her views on what those books meant to her. So, so manami.co.ke already existed. So it was also very natural for us to say, okay, we already, there's already this website that sits here. Why don't we add a shop to the, to the blog? And that's how Somanami the bookstore was born. And so uh, together with that, the book club had to also change to Somanami books, uh, book club. So that's how the Somanami Books family <laughs> came together. Yeah, so from book club to bookstore. And uh, oh well, yeah, so come, how do we come from the website to here we are today? So uh, this was in the website went live or the store on the website went live in February of um, this year of 2021. And uh, the reception has just been great. Um, we did not expect the kind of uh, response that we'd get because readers have been very, very excited. They were like, oh my God, I never thought that I'd be able to get the kind of range that uh, you guys have in Nairobi uh, because a lot of people see the books online, but they're not able to get them. And here we are, we had the books. So uh, following that success, we just, we felt compelled to open a physical location, which is where we are currently at uh, the Greenhouse Mall. Um, and so this is where uh, Somanami, the physical store is, which is um, um, started, uh, we opened our doors in August, uh, of the uh, 6th of August. So of course, um, there have been uh, some challenges um, in this um, uh, business. And uh, for us, the main challenge 
uh, being a startup is that nobody knows you and nobody knows um, about you so getting credit has been a challenge and um, uh, like getting credit uh, from suppliers so first you have to prove that you really uh, exist you're not a scam <laughs> and I think that's that's um, that's a perception like when you're running an online business a lot of people cannot really say like that you're a legitimate business so that has been a challenge trying to prove that yes you're a real um, and legitimate business so getting credit and that's um, but we're still working through those challenges uh, the other thing is um, access so um, getting books that have been published across Af in other African countries to get to Kenya that remains a big challenge because shipping across Africa is not a very straightforward thing. So we're still working to, through those challenges to see how we, we can get books say from Nigeria or from South Africa and such like, such like things, yeah. Um, also, um, I think balancing between uh, family demands and, uh, and a startup, which is which really you just have to work seven days a week. <laughs> there are no days off uh, when you're running um, a startup, when you're getting off the ground. And, uh, you know, uh, you still have your family demands. But I think once you're very convinced of what you're doing and why you're doing it, it, does, it never feels like work. So you keep working through it. I think for anybody out there who has an idea that they have in their mind and they are questioning themselves, they are wondering um, do what, what I'm thinking about, could it really come true? I think what I would say to you is take a chance on yourself and you never know until you try. So yes, you'll second guess yourself and that's part of the process, but just do it anyway, <laughs> you know, uh, do it scared, do it, but do it anyway and then from there iterate, see what the response from the market is, what customers are saying. And this goes for any for anything really in life, whether it's, it's a business, whether it's a career you want to pursue, um, whether it's um, a skill that you really want to perfect. Yeah, that you just have to take a risk and just do it anyway. Personally, I also do um, run an events company called Books and Wine, which uh, is a way to form a community around uh, books and wine. So we come together and we we have a good time. We enjoy wine. We talk about books. It's a it's a way to decompress and to really appreciate both. So for me, success um, individ uh, like as a personally for me, success is not is not getting to a certain point. It's the process of it. It's a journey. So every day that um, you get a good review uh, from a customer who is happy, that's a success. And so I, the way I look at it is not chasing being a, at a certain point or getting to a certain place. Uh, it's just that journey, the small wins, continually appreciating the small wins that you're able to do, uh, that you're able to get and the response that you get uh, from, from your customers and from other readers. And so far that has been, you know, that's been excellent. The re response that we've gotten from readers has been very encouraging. So I would take, um, go out and say that yes, I think I would say Somanami Books is successful. So some of the highlights for Somanami Books, um, it's been a very exciting journey. And um, first of all, it, it's getting this space that we're in at the greenhouse a space that's suitable for what we had in mind. You know, when my uh, Modoni and myself walked in here and we saw the potential, yes, it didn't look anything like it looks right now, but um, we walked in and we saw the potential of what it could be. Having um, uh, a space where people can commune and come together and be a community and um, uh, talk about books and just uh, be with each other. So getting the space was really a big step for us and uh, that propelled our dream further. Another highlight um, has been uh, was at the launch. Uh, so when we did the launch, uh, we 
had our community, our online community come together in this space. For some for the first time, you know, people that have been talking to each other online were able to see each other for the first time and it was beautiful to see uh, people just uh, cong uh, congratulating each other, just cheering each other on, you know, and uh, having these online um, relationships translate offline was a really beautiful thing to, to see and it validates the vision that we had of that people just want a space where they can come together and form those communities and it's been quite encouraging to see that uh, the people that have followed us online came offline and were excited and are excited to use the space uh, they've booked their book clubs uh, they've come to they've come again to um, to to see the space to record their vlogs and just use the space just as we had imagined it another highlight has been the recognition that we've um, we've received um, from some of the authors as you can see here we have our feature wall which is an ode to African writers because uh, that's really where we get our inspiration from we are African right we are African first and then everything else so even if when you look at our catalog it's Africa focused and then everybody else is second so getting the recognition from um, from the, some of the authors on the wall say like Manza Mengiste who is a shortlisted uh, Booker Prize award winner well uh, award shortlisted for the Booker Prize and that getting that love um, has really been something that's bolstered our yeah our convictions that yes we're on the right path so like I'd mentioned for me books are really very much living things um, and uh, I have enjoyed discovering and and transitioning through books like uh, being able to see a different world so I try as much as possible to read as widely as possible so I set a goal every year to perhaps read uh, uh, three books a month. So if I'm able to meet that, I'm happy. If not, it's still okay because uh, life sometimes um, happens in the way. And what I always say is that it's not about the number of books that you read. It's, uh, it's, what, it's the books that stay with you. So if you do read that one book and it stays with you forever, then that's a win. So, um, and, but then I am aware that there are people who read like 100 books a year and that's still okay. But I guess um, what I'd encourage any reader out there or anybody really out there is that um, don't, don't be afraid of the numbers or don't um, beat yourself down that I, re I, I can only read one book a year or can only read one book a day because take it at your own pace and really just um, enjoy the book that stays with you. So I'm, of course I have a couple of favorite authors. Um, uh, like I mentioned Manza Vengiste earlier, um, the books that I've read that she's written, I, I really am a, uh, a big fan of. Um, Jennifer Makumbi, who is a Ugandan author, and um, she's written a couple of books and some short story collection. Uh, really good, highly recommended that I think everybody should read Chintu. <laughs> yeah. And of course, from home, there's uh, Yvonne uh, Adiambo Award, uh, who's written some really highly reviewed books. And be excellent at the small things. And that statement has stayed with me and I've taken it really to heart. And I think um, that's what it's. It sounds simple, but it's pretty profound. Like, be excellent at the small things. So the very small thing that you have to do, uh, be excellent at that. Because it's the sum of those small, small acts that really culminate in you doing a big thing. So that's, I think that's a career advice that I'd pass on to anybody. Whatever it is, whether, I, whatever, whether you're in business or you're employed or um, you're figuring it out, or even if you're in school, just try and be excellent at the small things yeah and the big things will align themselves at somanami we are really special because uh, for us when you walk in here you get the sense that um, this is a book lovers hub and we are readers first ourselves we are readers and then booksellers goes without saying that we are 
African focused because that again, remember the story I told you about our book club that we were tasking ourselves to read African. Uh, so we also anchored on that principle that yes, uh, we are championing African works, we are championing African writers, so we'll, on our shelves, those are the majority that you will find, as opposed to say what you get um, outside in, uh, from other booksellers, where the African section is just like a small shelf somewhere in a corner. Here we are celebrating ourselves by stocking African largely and then everybody else. Online, we are available at www.somanami.co.ke. That's our website. And the beauty of uh, being online is that we are able to serve the whole country. So currently, we ship across Kenya. Anywhere you are in Kenya, we have customers all the way from Mombasa, uh, Kapsabet, Kisi, Kisumu. So wherever you are um, and you hear about Somanami books, just log on to our website, which is www.somanami.co.ke. Uh, uh, scroll through our catalog, feel free to order, and we deliver next day because we have very good um, delivery partners. Same as Nairobi, we deliver across Nairobi. And uh, for Nairobi orders, we deliver on the same day. Um, if you're on social media, uh, we are very active on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. That's at Somanami underscore KE on Instagram and Somanami Books on Twitter and Facebook. Also come there and uh, join the community of, of book lovers. Mm -hmm.